let's kick off the holiday season with some fast videos and design ideas because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. What about yours? My favorite time of the year is Valentine's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I thought she was going to say Christmas. Turns out that's okay too. I have a new beautiful mall in the studio. This is Anaya. She's eight years old. I love when my farmers come to shop because then I can pull in their kids and say, come on, come and get painted. So I wanted to show you guys a brand new brush. This is the Artie Angle brush. You're just showing it off, right? Look, it matches your shirt. Ooh la la. So you see, it is a larger angle brush. If you love Cameron's brushes, you're gonna love this one too. Um, the good news is, I'm always on a quest to improve our products. I'm a painter, so anything I create is with you guys in mind. And we were having a little bit of trouble with the handles chipping. So I switched all of the pink signature series over to an acrylic handle, so you're not gonna have to worry about it peeling or chipping anymore. So, I hope you love this brush. I'm also going to show off this arty cake. It is made exclusively for the face paint shop in um, Holland. For Dunya, this is a carnival cake, but goes really great for Christmas, so who knows, maybe I'll get her permission to uh, share it with everyone else. So, as always, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being my model, yeah. uh, and let's get started. Okay, so just with a little bit of red and gold, I say smile, so I can mm -hmm. see their natural cheeks, just like that. And then, you just kind of follow it up because I like the color to just make it appear as if they're smiling. Look, look what a pretty job that does, right? Then using another sponge, I just pick up gold. I want all gold so I can put that as a nice pretty background. Gold is a good color for the holidays. So close your eyes. Then I have her close her eyes really softly and I'm just kind of dusting some gold as a background. Don't worry if it's not 100% perfect. It's more just a background color. The Fab Gold is so beautiful. Nice sparkly shimmery background. Ooh la la, see? Then taking the Arty Cake and this new brush. Again, this is the new Arty Angle brush. So think of a three quarter inch flat brush, but with a little angle on it. And then I'm just going to load it back and forth. See what I'm doing? All right, then from the temple, so you're looking at it at a diagonal angle like this. I'm just going to come down, just like that, make a half kind of teardrop, and then press, press to the corners of the eyes, and I'll swing it down a little bit more. So again, from the temple, kind of like a straight line, utilize that tip. Then a half teardrop, press, press, bring it down by the corners of the eyes. Then it, look at her, she's so excited. Right in the middle here you have this space, so you have a couple of different options. We have pink power stencils for the holidays. You can put candy canes. You can put candy canes back there. Um, you can also use bling, okay? A little bit of bling. This is just some Christmas bling I picked up. The beauty is it's all up to you. Okay, so right in the middle here, here's a couple of options. We can have a, a design coming from the top, from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of make a little guy line press, swing it around, press, swing it around right there to make your classic shape. And then I can just make ones a little bit smaller right in the middle, right inside of there. And now that this area is dry, I can go in and create or replicate that same stroke that I originally did if you have room to make a second layer. So you see how pretty that is, guys? Super fast, super easy Christmas design crown. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this bling. Now this bling is already sticky bling, which I love. Uh, makes your life a lot easier. And I can stick it right in the middle for that beautiful fast effect. Then to finish off, we're going to use a little bit of glitter, a little bit of lipstick, and some teardrops. Okay? So picking up some white and you want to get it loaded really well, you're going to want to first make sure all of that is dry because if you're going to put white over it, then it needs to be dry or else it's not going to layer really nicely. So. And then all we're going to do is add some highlights wherever we see fit. So in any of these areas, just create a pattern. Stroke, stroke, those are teardrop, 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 teardrop. Same thing just like that, okay? 
Then what I do here, I want to just add it to the bottom. So these are just smaller teardrops right underneath that crown. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I love these scrolls and pretty um, soft line work. So the combination of thick and thin lines. So in the corners of the eyes, turn a little bit here. All I'm going to do is just create these soft swirls and maybe fill inside of there. So you see how fast and easy that can be and how it pops over the green and the reds. And I'll add some more teardrops right inside of there. So see how pretty just that combination. Then last but not least, all I'm going to do is in this space right here, leave the space to add glitter, but I'll still add a few little dots and stars right on the crown there. And then I have this space as well. So same idea, star, connect with um, dots, star in the middle as your focal point and connect with dots. And then I can do the same thing right underneath the eyes to just match it. Look at how beautiful she is. Now, another thing that I like to do, my little touch, close your eyes for me, really soft, is I like to either put dots in the corners of the eyes right there to just kind of bring the design together, make it soft, or you can just create these little teardrops in the corner. Both look good. So I used a little bit of red and I'm just going to add some lipstick because for me, this is my favorite time of the year when you can add a beautiful sparkly red lipstick to these Christmas princesses who just, to me, makes it all pop. Um, so with lipstick, I like to add just a little bit. This is red. So open up a little bit, just like that. I just like to add it on the bottom lip mostly. That helps keep the paint from transferring to the top. But look at how much, don't worry, look at how much it sparkles. Look at how much it sparkles, I love it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be using a little bit of the Pixie Paint. It is a gel-based glitter, so you don't wanna put it directly on the face paint. All it's gonna do is make it smear. So you wanna use it as kind of like a pretty background. What you do is just take the Pixie Paint, and I like to kind of rub it right in the background in those areas that are open, where that are not covered with glitter, so that I can create that pretty sparkly background. A little bit here and a little bit underneath the eyes in this section as well. And look at how pretty, pretty, pretty that Okay. So you see how easy Christmas princess painting can be when you have the right tools, like a really good brush and a really good arty cake with the colors and the theme for the season. You can whip out faces like this that look really beautiful, but they don't take that much time. And that's a good thing as it pertains to face painting, because we all know at these big holiday events, there's like lines around the corner. And you want to do a good job because you're going to be passing out your business card. So you don't want to look like you rush. So hopefully this season, I can make you a bunch of videos to get you excited and give you ideas for the holiday season so that you can continue to add some more color and, and happiness and smiles to the lives of kids all over and adults all over the world. So as always, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for being my model. I hope to see her again. A girl this beautiful. We can't waste that, all that beauty. So as always, guys, thank you for joining me. Happy holidays. And if there's Happy. something you want to see, write me. I'll use her as a model. I'll call her up. I'll let you guys, uh, I'll, I'll definitely continue to share. All right, guys, have a great day. See you later. So good. She's so good. I love you.